grandparents, everybody else is going to tell you, have kids, have kids, have kids. Nobody's going to tell you about the sleep. sleepless nights. They're not yeah. going to tell you about the incessant hospital visits. Yeah. They're not going to tell you about the constant the crying. Bills. They're not going to tell you about the bills, the bills, bills, the bills. They're not going to tell you about when your child comes home and asks you what a lesbian is. Like, how do you answer, how do you answer that? Yeah. So my parenting style, I think I would say I'm a soft parent because <laughs> I am a soft parent. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Because I don't beat my kids. Not that I don't believe in not beating them. I don't beat my I only beat I think I can't remember the last time I beat them. Mm. But I don't beat unless you have done something extremely bad so soft parenting i don't think it only has to do with beating i also I think know, it has to i do am with... coming to it now i okay. don't beat my kids mm -hmm. i let them express themselves i i allow them feel like they can come to me when something don't like how you're looking at me <laughs> okay so <laughs> but you that you beat them are you a hard parent so as i was saying <laughs> it's not about beating them or not beating uh -huh, them. okay I have not beat my children in how long? Because they're older, but before. No, it's not. It's not because you're older. Then what? It is the foundation, my dear. Mm -hmm. Spare the rod. <laughs> and you spoil the child. Okay. Apply the rod at the beginning. Mm -hmm. At the end can be good. Mm -hmm. So you see that beginning, you need to apply the rod. Eh, which I did, but no, I think I became a bit liberal. I don't think you're liberal. I think. I am. No. See, so what am I? So, I think it's a safe I, I think space. It's a, it's a safe space. I think you're authoritative. I just think that you're learning how to... And that's why I said authoritative is not about beating them. It's more about... You will bend. You will bend. You will bend and fit into this mood. <laughs> you, you will bend and fit into this mood. Yes, you do. I, I do agree with your... Yes, there are two different children. But we bend. <laughs> bend to what? You, you enter this thing. <laughs> Which thing? You're my way. My way is the way I am your mother. That's why you obey me. You will do it. No, that's I know I know the best. I know the right. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I'm more the okay, let's talk about it. Let's try and understand it. Let's have this conversation. Because like me, you'll be having a conversation next I don't hear I, 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 I don't understand all this. Like, sister. That's not exactly so. No, but you see, sometimes this talking is that's too much. My, that's what I'm saying. It's too much. So this is where you. the truth is. We see the truth, the truth is coming out now. This one they are speaking big English because they are on the camera. I don't understand. Yes, mm -hmm. I believe that children, the devil that is inside them, you drive it out with the road. Mm -hmm. I believe 100%. Mm -hmm. But I also believe that they don't, like when they are small, they don't understand life. Mm -hmm. They don't understand consequences they don't understand how the world works they don't you understand so you need to apply correction mm -hmm. until such a time mm -hmm. as they can begin to comprehend okay. and when they begin to comprehend you now switch okay and then we now start having conversations okay. i'm not your friend mm -hmm. i'm your parent yeah do you understand so we can be cool mm -hmm. we can love each other but i'm still your parents, parents. do you okay. understand if i were to if I were to try to classify our parenting style, yeah. I would say we're midway between authoritative okay. and authoritarian. You get, so I think... Authoritarian is, is you being the parent. Authoritarian is this is the way, mm -hmm. my way mm -hmm. or the highway. Authoritative is more like, um, okay, so let's let's all reason together. Let's come to, do you get what I mean? What um, other terms are it is Neglective and... Do have permissive parents? Permissive, and they have, okay. Yeah. All right. But in our case, I think it's midway between authoritative and authoritarian. I think you're more towards you the to authoritarian. This mm -hmm. is it, or that's it. Period. Mm -hmm. I'm more authoritative, but it's it's not. I don't think we're two extremes. I think we're closer than we think. Okay. In the middle, there somewhere on the scale okay. of that, because I mean, I I want to listen to them. I just feel like 
this is the way until they become aware. Once they become aware, then let them start figuring things out on their own. Let them start understanding how it works. And I, I mean, that's rubbed off on you yourself. You understand? You have conversations. I'm proud of you. I used to just tell them to shut up anymore. Actually, I have conversations. I didn't used to say shut up. No. Okay, maybe not. Because I told that them word. shut up was a bad okay, word. Okay, maybe you didn't used mm-hmm. to use the word shut up. Mm-hmm. But there was a very, there was a lot of impatience in the my, game. My tolerance has increased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at least, mm-hmm. now that one is working, you know. What? Because I, I remember when um, Tenny wanted to pack out of the house <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> and you hmm. I think maybe maybe we should actually share that okay we so share that so that people will understand the Tenny, context Tenny of what and, we're talking about Tenny and his sister they were much younger then and the cousin were in the house and they did something naughty and I told them if they do it again I'm going to smack them and I'm so I used to be someone that I follow with whatever I follow through. I yeah, follow I through. Follow I don't I don't miss words. So they did it again and then I came so they did it and they immediately ran into the room because they knew they had done something wrong and I was coming to smack them. So when I came to smack, Tenny refused to come out. So I smacked my my nephew and I smacked Ayomiku mm. and Tenny refused to come out to be smacked and he was like, No and I was like, I'm not gonna take that rubbish. So I wasn't talking to him and then Ayomiku and her cousin they wanted snacks. So I gave them and I didn't give him. And then Tenny says he's moving out. I said, Oh, that's fine. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. <laughs> and then he goes to meet his dad and says, So daddy, I'm moving out. Let's go. To- <laughs> Let's go together. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, I don't understand. Like, what? moving out to it. And he says, No, we'll go we'll, find our own place. We'll find our own place. And we- it will just be us boys. <laughs> and and who and will bro, make food? Can you cook? He said no. So it's good to make food. He said we'll buy food. This one has juice. It's not only we'll buy food. So, Sorry, who is going to who is going to be there? He said no, no, no. He told me to leave. He said oh I no. Should, he said yeah, yeah. He said I should leave, leave because it's his father's house. Father's house. I said excuse me, young man. I left my father's house to come and do my own house. So you will leave. I and go and do find your house. house. So then I said, yeah, let's leave. He was leave. moving out, and so he and left. And make so he wanted home. to leave. And the dad called him and says, no, you need to apologize to your mom. And he just was just... To no, I have to leave. So I like, ignored ah, him. Bro, let me help you. So I helped him to pack his things. Yeah, take. Bro, we'll catch on. We'll see me. I'm not, ent- I'm not entering this um, problem with you. And... So at the beginning, it wasn't always simple. Like the, at the beginning, we, we both had, you know, ways that we felt were best. We each felt the best. And yeah. I mean, it caused clashes yeah, it quite does. a lot of, of the time. Where, Trying to figure out where to draw the line yeah. and um, not, not f- forcing down on someone's truth saying, my way is better mm. than your way. So we always, we had to learn how to, balance, each, balance other each other out and get in the middle and decide from there yes yeah, so we had quite a number of clashes and then um, we we learned along the way figured it out and started applying most of this new i think my thing at the, end of the, at the end of the day really is like these are human beings you need to help them yeah 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 you're a guide you're not really they, i don't feel that children belong to you in the conventional sense. Yeah, I think sure. you're just there to, to guide, guide them, them in into the whatever purpose it is that they, they have. To be, yeah. So um, there's something that we've both we both agree on now, which is university for uh, university education for a child is not it's not it's essential. Not it's not it's not something that has to happen. I believe that by the time you finish secondary school you're educated, the only thing that is left after that is for you to find a vocation yeah, and for trade. you to learn how to survive to to master the skills required to execute that vocation so i'm i don't plan for my kids to go to uni i mean if if they come to me and you know they're academically whatever inclined and they want to go to uni it's great but if somebody comes and says oh i want to be a tailor or fashion designer bro, web designer sh- show me show me <laughs> you can do it yeah let's go Pick a, pick a fashion school. It's better because we have too many people out there who are just 
stuck yeah, in, stuck in a career wrong profession not. and wrong careers because yeah. their parents wanted to live through them. Yeah. You must be a doctor because I want to have a doctor. No. I think that even hindered me growing up because yeah. my dad wanted me to be an engineer. I never wanted to do it. I never had a flair for it. Uh, look at and now. I spent <laughs> 10 years in university and now I'm a producer. So yeah, it does, yeah. So it does yeah, happen. So there are people, they're not for us. Our pleasure. They're not for our pleasure, exactly. They're for their purpose. They have a purpose. Yeah. And the responsibility is on you as a parent, is on us as parents, to help them figure out what that is and become the and best guide, and they version the best of, of what themselves. They want to be, yeah. That is, and it is about them. It's not about, about us. us. Which is why, I mean, beginning of marriage, we could sit down and say, oh, you know, um, one person has to stay on with the kids. It's, it, it's not like it was easy. I mean, there was resentment, there was confusion, there was all that, but we have decided to have a child. We will need to make the sacrifices necessary to, be, to make ensure sure that, that this child becomes gets who the they best, want yeah. to be. I mean, look at... Our children have in interesting personalities. We have Tenny on the one hand, who is... Almost a geek. Yeah, but he's, he's so, like... He just graduated from primary school and there was a teacher yeah, that actually a science teacher. Science actually said that when he wants to teach science in class he actually goes to research because ten is going to call him out if he says the wrong thing and he yeah. gave an example and then this head teacher will tell you with Tenny you'll be surprised you know understand you need to be ready with an answer you need to know what you're talking about reason. because if you just talk then there's Ayamikon, who is the, you know, Barbie. She's just, yeah, she's Barbie. She's just, I, I just want the world, the world is glamorous. Let's all just be glamorous together. Oh, I mean, the mood to be happy. Oh, I mean, the mood to be sad. Let's just all be, do you understand? Like, so that balance, that balance, finding the balance to be able to raise both of them with the same values without stunting their own personal who growth, they are yeah. by themselves is a really big thing, Challenge. you know? So yeah, parents, it's a, Big thing, it's a big responsibility that you have. So please, 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 please. Don't give up. Don't give up, but do the right thing. And if you are, if you are considering parenting, do the list. Just make a list. List of what? List. Do I want to wake up in the night? <laughs> do I like to change diapers? Do I want this child to become an engineer because I just want an engineer in my life? You'll be all right. Think about all those things <laughs> before you have the child. Yes. You know, you've said all of, we've said all of these things mm. and all of that. Strangely enough, I'm sure people will be curious to know that. I uh, would want to know how I probably felt when you said you didn't want to have kids when we were planning on getting married. Mm -hmm. And yes, I felt a certain kind of way. I felt like, is this man joking? When it's not like I told, like it would be a nice fit if I knew I had a fertility issue or I couldn't bear kids, but... No, I, I I don't think that's fair on on me because I actually wanted kids. I felt I wanted kids at that time, and I I just felt like you were going to be stunting. Like I don't know how to put it, but I just felt like no, it it can't. It was going to be like a almost deal breaker mm. if we did not agree kids. on this not having kids matter. So she so wanted you to kick and have each other. Who doesn't? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> That's Who doesn't? It. So, no. about to have children, have children. If I'm not able to have children, it's you better take me like that. Eh, yes, <laughs> but you see, but because we're in a society where every man literally, or you, we feel like every man literally wants a child to leave a legacy. You don't leave a legacy by your children. No, your name. Because they keep saying, oh, have male kids because hey, your name will go long. That's it. That's, oh. it. that's, first of all, that's totally, that doesn't even make any sense. Because um, you're going to die. Your daddy the, have chill, died. the children I mean, that you leave behind mm -hmm. are probably going to die. Do you understand? Yeah, they too leave their now, own children. if, for example, you have only girl children, then what? Eh, I, that's, for example, that's the card you I wanted, to I wanted a girl child. I ended up with a boy child. Mm -hmm. mm. I was traumatized. <laughs> but I got over it. <laughs> and I had the boy and, you know, I dealt with it. But, I think people just like I I don't think people really think these things through. I think it's just like the programming of society. Mm -hmm. You understand? Then it's the next step. 
Get having married, kids have is kids. just a step. Yeah. This whole living legacy there is if you do the best that you do, mm -hmm. that you can do before you die, you will live a legacy. That's the truth. It has nothing to do with your children. There are people who have left children behind and children have been I've done nothing. hopeless. Yeah. They've not done anything to... In fact, they've wrecked the name that, that the person built. Behind. You get. So, so what's the point? So, you know, strangely enough, when I met you and you said, I thought you were like the only... You were one out of one million men mm. <laughs> that didn't want children. But apparently, guys, how many people wanted kids here? Men, men only. Okay, one person wants... You want... He didn't want. <laughs> he didn't want. want. So our sound okay. guy, Mr. Ola. <laughs> Why are you so saying, Mr. Ola? Okay, ladies. Ladies, how many of you want children? Oh, you don't want. Oh, see, you see. She doesn't okay. want a kid. She doesn't want a kid. Oh, you want. want. So, <laughs> Lighter doesn't want. I don't know what I want. Lighter is figuring it out as she goes. I don't know what She's figuring it out as she goes. I know I, I've mentioned I felt weird about you not wanting to have kids and... Um, it was almost a deal breaker, but when I knew like I was hitting a brick wall, I just turned to see your mother. Yeah. And I said, mommy, no, I, I didn't go straight to her. Mm. I manipulated. Mm. So she was with us at some point and I just by chance brought up the conversation and said, oh, um, your children or something. I can't remember how the conversation went. And then in true rugby form, responded, I'm not having children. And it's what and I said. And African, then African mother responds. You sucked my breast. Africa, Africa mother You responds. something, you will have child. As I found joy in you, raising you, something, and then, something. And then... And then she turned it to a prayer point. And, and I left sister, it all for... I left sister, it all for mommy to... My sister to jumped solve. in on that. That was how I convinced him. everybody just jumped in on it. To, you know, yes. everything. Mr. Allah, I'm sorry but I held my I, chest. I, I, <laughs> so I... I that's, yes, he was convinced after that. Yes. So, yes, there was the pressure. But honestly, I just had... I eventually acquiesced, agreed to have children just because I knew that you really wanted it. Mm. That was it. At the end of the day, I just looked at it like, she's willing to go to this extreme to just ensure that we have children. Then, okay, fine. We will have children. So I did it more out of love than anything else. Oh, thank you. So... Basically, in conclusion, my advice to parents from my own experience would be be intentional. Try to be there for your kids. Let them know you. I know career, work can take out time, but be intentional. Try and make out. If it's that one hour, two hour or weekend, and then try to form um, a routine with them. Like if it's once every month, we go somewhere or we hang out. They remember these things. It keeps them going. Let them have that um, environment where they feel safe and that they can talk to you. Um, understand and observe the kind of personalities that they have and then fuel that in a good channel as opposed to like shoving your own beliefs down their throat. Um, what else? I think with great responsibility comes great sacrifice. <laughs> great that's, sacrifice. That's it. So yes. if you if you are going to go down that road, just understand that you will have to put them first for a really long time. Time, yes. It may not be forever. It's not going to be through. It's going to have to put them first for a really long time, and that includes you know your marriage, your career, and everything in between. So yeah, just um, you know, so, do what works for you, but be responsible. <laughs> so, so speaking of speaking of the. Ayumiko and the general. You guys met them at the beginning of the show. Yeah. And now we're going to bring them back. Guys! Yes, yes. yes guys! Daddy. Okay, come, 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 come through. Come through. Say it. Okay. My name is Ayumiko and this is my brother Teniola Aymara. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Love, Love and, and Everything, Everything in Between. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do um, a quick game. Yay. A quick challenge. Quick Yay. challenge, yes. So they're going to ask you questions and you're going to point out who you feel fits. Uh, shifts. I should shift. They're going to point at me now and think it's you. No, they should say mommy or daddy. 
Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, so you understand it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. So, question. Who is the fun parent? Um, daddy. <laughs> no offense, mommy. No, I'm not taken. It's mommy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, who is actually the fun parent? Mommy. Daddy. Mommy. Daddy. Mommy. Daddy. Mommy. Daddy. No, it's daddy. Mommy. Mm. Daddy. It's daddy. Time. Mommy. It's not time. It's a time. It's a time. It's a time because we both voted for different people. Okay. okay. Same gender. Same gender. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it sounds a bit biased. Okay. <laughs> okay, next question. Who spanks more? Daddy. Mommy. Daddy! <laughs> It's mommy! 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 How can it be mommy? How can it be mommy? It's mommy! Daddy spank! When last did daddy spank anybody? When last did mommy spank anybody? The last, the last living memory of spanking. Don't worry now. It's okay. Alright, so, but the answer is daddy. No, the answer is daddy. No, no it's, it's, daddy. Answer, it's a tie as well. Daddy. No! It's Tiny daddy. says it's mommy. It's daddy. No, but they're asking us both of us who spanks more. Who spanks more? Yes. Daddy. We both spank equally. No, no we don't. Daddy. I have not spanked in a long time. Daddy! <laughs> daddy. Who gives the best hug? Mommy! Finally. That one I cannot, I can't dispute. I can't dispute that one. Who gives the best gifts? Daddy. He got me a PS5. Hey! <laughs> what Amiko, makes you think you Wait, wait, wait. Amiko, who gives the best gifts? <laughs> think about it very well. My birthday is coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's a threat. It's not a threat. It's not, I'm just stating a fact. I remember who gives the best gift. Think about it. I remember that daddy gave you the play <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Next question. Daddy, mommy. Okay. Gives mommy. the best gift. Mommy. Okay. 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 Next question. Next question. Wait, mommy. Mommy. She cooks a lot. I cannot argue. You don't even cook, daddy. <gasps> <laughs> My chest. <laughs> My chest. <laughs> Who makes you laugh the most? Mommy. Hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mommy. You don't know. Isn't you called mommy the funny one? Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, so we're bringing this up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Full name. Full name. Full name. What's my full name? It's Bio Belemoya. Wow! I asked you if it's is Arima. No, but he didn't say Arima. Arima is my son's name. About this okay. thing. Okay. Yeah. Who helps with homework? Hmm? Okay. Who helps with homework? Attention builds. Hmm? Okay. Who helps with homework? Daddy. Who helps with school projects is different from who helps with homework. So who helps with your school projects? Mommy. By far. By far. <laughs> I cannot deny that. Hey, what's mommy's favorite food? Um Pepper soup? Yes! Mm. <laughs> I'm the time! You don't know, do you? You don't know. I think know. it's rice and something. Yes. Huh? Rice. Yes, rice. Huh? Rice. Why are you drinking pepper soup all the time? Because I'm on diet. <laughs> 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 what is daddy's birthday? Daddy's birthday. October. 13th. Come on. Why you yeah, say come on, but it's October 13. He said 13, she said October, so that's correct. Wee! <laughs> so you guys tag team. Tag team. I thought it was 18. No, no it's 13. Mm. Okay. I'm 18. Okay. Um, Just now. Why uh, October? Where did daddy grow up? Huh? Where did your daddy grow up? Where did he grow up? He grew up in. How? There's no state called Europe. There's no Europe. But it's okay. What's which one? Although I didn't grow up in Europe, but still. Okay. Bonus question. What's daddy's favorite color? Um, his favorite color is 
Blue. What's that his favorite color? Oh no. Wow. That is favorite color is blue. So daddy's favorite color is blue? Yes. Okay, I thought it was black. I thought yours was, was blue, mommy. I just like wearing black. What about oh, okay. you? <laughs> I thought yours was blue, mommy. Thank okay. you very much, guys. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Awesome time. <laughs> well done, well done. Stay, 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 stay. Stay, stay, well so done, we'll wrap well together. together. So, um, that was fun. Now I know who knows me more. And I know Why who... are you just looking at Tenny like that? Because and I know who... <laughs> because I... Tenny said I spank him more, which is a lie. Ah. But it's fine. I know whose birthday is going to get the best breast. Wow! <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Mommy, Mommy's there. She'll get you the best present. Attention. <laughs> wow. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Your you don't get me anything on my birthday. Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame on you. You just right. bubble for me. All right, like guys. How many minutes? All right, guys. Okay. Um, so it was great sharing our experiences with you. We hope you've been able to learn a thing or two from <laughs> us. Yes. Our journey, our parenting styles, etc. If you have a question or you have a comment, please yeah. feel free to send it to us or put comment. it in the comment section. We will see you again on, on the next episode, episode of Love and everything, everything in Between. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. 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 Ah, let's try to the crew. Let's, let's try to the crew. To the crew. So we're going to have to put have on the generator. Want we want to go out. We want to go somewhere. We want to... This is distracting. She has pooped on the rug. <laughs>